You're watching WKYT News at Noon. Good afternoon. We're hitting 1230 and the news continues on WKYT. Bill Bryan and Barbara Bailey here. The search continues in Brussels, Belgium this afternoon for the suspects in yesterday's deadly attacks. 31 people have died and more than 250 were injured when bombs went off at the airport and a train station. We begin our top story team coverage now with the very latest from Brussels. A moment of silence in Brussels as the city mourns the victims of Tuesday's terror bombings. One arrest has been made in the Anderlecht district of the city, though authorities haven't specified the connection between the suspect and the attacks. Two brothers have been identified as suspects. Ibrahim El Bakrawi was one of the suicide bombers at the airport, while his brother Khalid is responsible for the metro bombing. Ibrahim is seen wearing black in the middle of this airport surveillance photo, accompanied by two unidentified men. A manhunt now underway for the man to the right of that photo, who police believe planted a bomb at the airport. They say the man on the left, also an accomplice, is now dead, a result of the airport bombings. A witness describes the scene as a war zone. First you, you just see smoke, then the, you see... Uh... The, the ceiling coming down, and then uh, you're just running, uh, jumping over people. The subway station explosion happened about an hour later. The lights went out, the power went out, uh, everyone dropped to the ground, they were screaming, but I didn't know at that moment in time if the attack was happening on the train I was on, or if it was happening at the station as we were pulling up to it. Around the world, people are holding vigils, and landmarks are illuminated in the colours of Belgium's flag in tribute to the victims of the attacks. In Brussels, I'm Simon Mawson reporting. The U.S. House of Representatives in Washington has approved a resolution condemning the attacks in Brussels. There's still no sign of a Lexington native and her husband missing since yesterday's attacks. Stephanie and Justin Schultz were dropping her mother off at the airport when two bombs went off. Stephanie's mother is okay, but hasn't seen her daughter or son-in-law since the blast. The State Department told their family the couple is not on the list of known casualties. Today, Stephanie's co-workers at Mars Incorporated are going hospital to hospital to try and find the couple. The not knowing is, is the worst, you know, and now it's been over 30 hours since anyone's had any kind of contact with them. So, you know, that's obviously frightening, but... You just got to ask, just try to stay positive. Stephanie Schultz is a graduate of Bryan Station High School in Transylvania. She met Justin in Nashville before they moved to Brussels to work as accountants. Well, today we're hearing from another Lexington native in Brussels at the time of the blast. Victoria Tinker, a Lexington Christian Academy graduate, was in the subway when one of those bombs exploded. She tells WKYT News that she was running behind yesterday morning, which may have saved her life. WKYT's Hillary Thornton continues our top story team coverage now with Tinker's story. The Lexington family is keeping a close eye on the news coming out of Brussels. Their daughter, a college student at American University in Washington, D.C., is currently studying in Belgium and was in the metro during the attacks. Victoria Tinker's parents woke up to a message around 4 o'clock Tuesday morning saying there was some type of attack, but that she was okay. As the day went on, they learned just how lucky their daughter is. Tinker is studying international relations and was headed to her internship at the European Parliament yesterday morning, thankfully running a little behind schedule. I heard people um, screaming and everyone started running and um, my house mom was running outside to come and find me because she wasn't sure if I had gotten on the metro in time or not because the train that was attacked most likely would have been the train that I would have been on. However, caught in the aftermath of the attack, thankfully hurried out of the metro by a guard. And a police officer was yelling, and she thought he was yelling at someone else. He didn't real, she didn't realize it wasn't her. And so the next thing she knew, he grabbed her and picked her up and started running. So um, he saved her life. Well, Tinker is scheduled to stay abroad in Belgium through May. Her parents say they're letting her make that decision whether to stay or come home early. In Lexington, Hillary Thornton, WKYT.
Hillary, thank you. Now, remember, you can stay up to date on the latest headlines out of Brussels at WKYT.com. A lawsuit has been filed in connection to a deadly apartment fire. The B&P apartments in Winchester caught fire March 11th, killing three people. In an interview with WKYT, Jackie Heisel Jr. apologized for starting the fire while smoking by his oxygen tank. His son, Donald, Tina Reynolds, and Dixie Everman all died. The Winchester Sun reports Eric Everman filed the suit against Heisel and the apartment complex last week in Clark Circuit Court. Heisel will be in court at 1.30 this afternoon in the criminal case. State police have made an arrest after the discovery of human remains. Michael Curtis is charged with murder, evidence tampering, and abuse of a corpse. The remains were found in a wooded area of the Kaywood community in Harlan County. The victim's name won't be released until the state medical examiner's office makes a positive identification. The state police say the remains are connected to a missing persons case out of Harlan. A man has admitted that he killed a Madison County couple. Daniel Keene pleaded guilty to several charges, including murder, in the 2010 deaths of Sansari Warford and Charles Walker. Keene will be sentenced on May 3rd. The recommended sentence is 40 years in prison. The Commonwealth's attorney says Keene would be eligible for parole after 20 years. The victim's families were hoping for a longer sentence. At least he's got life. You know, in jail. You know, if you're going to kill somebody, know you did wrong, give them more time than 40 years. A second man, Matthew Denholm, pleaded guilty to the murders in 2014. A third person charged in the case is still awaiting trial. Police have released the names of two people charged in connection with a gas station robbery. Lexington police say Quantavian Levell robbed the marathon on Newtown Pike yesterday. Police say he and Isaiah Bell drove to another gas station where they then crashed into a police paddy wagon. Both men are charged with receiving stolen property and fleeing and evading. Levell is charged with robbing the marathon as well as a Circle K on Richmond Road back in February and leaving the scene of an accident. We've learned how many Lexmark employees will lose their jobs in layoffs. A spokeswoman for the city says they were notified about the layoffs last night. We're told about 143 people will be affected. The first departures from the Lexington facility will occur between May 25th and June 8th. Lexmark announced it would cut 550 jobs last month. Well, some new research shows how long-term marijuana use can affect your job and your paycheck. Also treating children with the Zika virus. There are new guidelines for pediatricians. Better Living is next on WKYT. And we have the temperatures outside in the 50s right now, but we'll finish off in the 60s later on this afternoon. And then here comes the rain tomorrow. Even some thunderstorms. We're going to go over that forecast coming up. Hollywood's known for big awards. You received the award for best bot. <laughs> Today's hump day with Christopher Maloney. These pants have split twice, <laughs> reaching for a croissant that I dropped. <laughs> Plus the Hollywood medium, the top on CBS. WKYT's first alert weather follows you wherever you go. On TV, online, on your phone, and throughout the day on 104.5 The Cat. Recent tobacco research proves a residue extremely hazardous to young children clings to surfaces long after the cigarette is out. The toxin particulates and gases are called third-hand smoke, and they contain chemicals like arsenic, cyanide, and lead. It's linked to chronic ear infections, asthma, even brain damage in children. Contact the Lexington Health Department to find smoke-free child care centers. I'm Matt Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident, hurt on the job, or are the victim of medical malpractice, you only owe us a fee if we win at trial or are able to obtain a fair settlement for you. Your initial office visit with us is absolutely free. My family has represented you and your families for almost 30 years now. Today, we are honored to help you when you need us most. Morgan & Morgan, for the people. These creamery shakes are so rich and creamy. I know, finally a shake for an aficionado like myself. Wait, you're a shake aficionado? Not a shake aficionado, the shake aficionado. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Well, perhaps you could be one too, go oh. ahead. Mm. 
Is it coolness? Cold. It's cold. Okay, ice cream is cold. <laughs> Stop the presses, guys. Ice cream is cold. Says Pete. Print it. New slow turned creamery shakes are here in premium flavors like bourbon brown sugar. And all shakes are half price after 8 p.m. This is how you sonic. Did your family set a goal to become healthier in the new year? One family did and lost 300 pounds at Ageless. Bruce lost 92 pounds, Adam lost 64 pounds, and Catherine lost 151 pounds. For a medically supervised affordable weight loss solution, call Ageless today for a free consultation. Nursing home abuse happens daily. Loved ones need protection. If you or someone you love has experienced nursing home abuse, call 800-800-4600. Think you might be pregnant? No judgment, no pressure, just help. AssuranceCare.org. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Like WKYT on Facebook. Now, your hour-by-hour -hour forecast with meteorologist Micah Harris. Like I said earlier, it all depends on where you are. If you're east and southeast, you're still not getting the thick cloud cover like we're seeing here in the bluegrass and back toward the west. And that thick cloud cover is kind of playing with our temperatures just a bit. We're 58 now in Lexington, 63 in the London Corbin region, and you can see Jackson. Jackson looks really good at 63 degrees. So mid to upper 60s is where we will fall later on this afternoon. Even some upper upper 60s to around 70 degrees far east and southeastern areas, and we'll stay there. Look, it's not about today; it's really about tomorrow when we start to see some showers and thunderstorms roll across the region. As clouds increase overnight, they never hurt anybody, but you won't expect any rain out of that. Tomorrow morning, waking up right around 7 to 8 a.m. looks just fine. I know I know we'll have the clouds overhead, but in terms of anything falling out of the sky, I don't expect that. It's going to be later on in the day. That we actually see that roll on through. So let me take you hour by hour and show you what you can expect when you can expect it so you can go ahead and make some plans so you can think about that uh, in the next 12 to 24 hours. So here's 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Not much going on, right? If we do, if we see the speed up, you'll have some rain there by 7, 8 a.m. across far western zones. You get off toward Bardstown, off into Shelbyville, Simpsonville, and then work your way southbound into Highway 68. Uh, that's where we could see some rain early in the morning. But it's really that 10, 11, noon time that you start to see some of these showers move on in. Now, those are just showers, but this plays a huge role in our forecast. You get the rain overhead and also the cloud cover. Look at these temperatures. They're not really budging that much. So that means the energy is kind of left out of there. And as long as we can have that, it really limits that instability from going, meaning that energy is not as, as potent as it would be when these storms roll through if you had a lot of sunshine. Remember, you don't want sunny skies on days you're expecting storms. There's 4 p.m. So anywhere from 2 p.m. to about 7 to 8 p.m., that is your severe weather threat. And it looks like far east and southeastern Kentucky, we won't get rid of at least the shower or thunderstorm activity until we hit midnight. So around the bluegrass, look for that anywhere from about 3 p.m. to about 6 or 7 p.m. That's kind of the time frame, bluegrass. And then back toward the east, anywhere from about 5 p.m to even midnight to get all the rain on out of there. And once that happens, that cool air rushes on out, and, yeah, it's going to be pretty chilly there on Friday. But then it jumps back up there for the weekend, guys, so it's only a quick break there on Friday. We get the cool air in, the weekend, 60s, maybe even a few 70s on Sunday as it looks like the rain moves in during the evening and night on Easter, so hopefully we can get a lot of those plans in uh, during the daytime hours there on Easter. But the, probably the best bet is going to be on Saturday. As opposed to Sunday, trying to get those plans in. So maybe oh, like rearrange things a little bit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> a little Easter egg here. Yeah. And then, it it, right, we'll keep watch as we get closer. Thank you. Mm -hmm. A new study out today says marijuana is dragging some people down. And new guidelines on treating U.S. children with the Zika virus. Terry Okita has details in this Better Living report. A new CDC report should help pediatricians deal with the Zika virus. It outlines ways to prevent, diagnose, and treat children with the mosquito-borne virus. The CDC says Zika should be suspected if a child traveled to an affected area and has at least two symptoms, including fever, rash, joint pain, or pink eye. New research looks at treating hospitalized patients for delirium and finds antipsychotic drugs may not work. Older people in hospitals or long-term care facilities are at a higher risk of delirium. And researchers in California say people who smoke pot for many years end up in lower-paying, less skilled jobs. They tracked hundreds of children through adulthood and found regular users ended up in a lower social class than their parents. Those are some of the day's top health stories. Terry Okita, CBS News, Los Angeles.
All right, stay with us now. We've talked a little bit about it. An unusual guest in our studio coming up after a quick break. Here's a clue. He has very sharp teeth. That's coming up on WKYT. Life gets better the older you get, and time becomes more valuable. Time to spend with family, time to try new things, time to have fun. At Kroger, you can have your prescriptions filled while you shop. So it's easy to save money and time with your Kroger Pharmacy. And you can get back to the things you love. It's easy to manage all of your family's prescriptions all online. Order refills, view prescription history, and more. Visit Kroger.com slash MyPrescriptions today. Explore together at Newport Aquarium. So, you've got these projects on your list. You've been wanting to update your kitchen, organize your closets, and build the backyard oasis of your dreams. But where do you start? Well, projects solved. The Central Kentucky Home and Garden Show is here. Need a reliable contractor? You'll find them at the show. Need a landscaping pro? They're here too. Bring photos of your projects and meet with the experts. Then compare and save with exclusive show only deals. There's only one place to find it all next weekend at the Lexington Center. Hi, I'm Brian and I buy houses in the Lexington area. Selling a house can be stressful, but not anymore. If you need to sell your house, let's talk. We'll have an honest conversation about your home and your options. I'm not a realtor. I can buy your house as is and we'll close professionally with a Lexington attorney. No closing costs, no commissions, not one red cent out of your pocket. You can get all cash, immediate debt relief, and peace of mind. Call someone you can trust, 859-278-HELP or go to 278help.com. He's been turned down. Commence operation. Hey! Uh, you need a car. I got to turn down for credit. Turn down for what? Credit. Sorry, earwax. Turn down for what? Credit. Drive time won't turn you down, regardless of credit. Yeah! Cool. <laughs> Save yourself. Get approved at drive time first. Call, click, or visit. We know they're a great value, but to see if Malto Meal cereal tastes as good as they claim, we have assembled a panel of experts. Spoons are up. They are mid crunch. And. Thumbs! Malto Meal Cereal. Thumbs up on great taste. Bluegrass Medical Aesthetics wants to help you on the path to wellness and healthy youthful aging. Hormone replacement, medically supervised weight loss, Botox, Kybella, and more. Located in Georgetown next to Qdoba. Visit us at BMAKY.com. Okay, uh, <laughs> just here got approached are. here <laughs> and looked at. Uh, welcome back into WKYT News. Imagine the excitement for kids uh, who get an up close and personal look at exotic animals like sharks at school. Uh, it's kids of all ages. The Newport Aquarium is making it possible. We're joined by Dan Dunlap, the education curator, to learn more about it. Welcome, and, and Thank also you. some other guests as well. Yes, this is Rocky, and this is Apollo. We have two epaulette sharks on set today. It's really neat. Yeah. Uh, what is this program? It's called the Wave Foundation. What, what, what does it do? Yeah, the Wave Foundation, we're the nonprofit partner of the Newport Aquarium. So our mission is to excite, engage, and educate the community about the wonders of aquatic life and the importance of conservation. So the Wave on Wheels program is something that we've really put a lot of time, effort, energy into. We take our exotic animals like sharks, penguins, alligators, snakes, turtles, tortoises. We take these animals out into schools, libraries, senior centers, daycares, community events. I took a penguin down to Tennessee in December. Uh, we've been to a wedding reception before, so you name it, a we'll be there. A wedding reception. Absolutely. Oh, pretty wow. Cool. Now, that is fun. <laughs> I want to know more about these sharks. As I look down, I'm, they look like they have huge eyes. Why yeah. is that? These black spots on the side of their head are actually what we call a self-defense mechanism. They resemble their eyes from mm -hmm. a bigger predator swimming over top that looks down. The rule of the thumb in the wild is the bigger eyes you have, the bigger teeth you have, the bigger mouth you have. So the bigger predators that swim up top look down, see these big black spots, mm -hmm. leave these smaller sharks alone. Wow. Fake eyes, and their real eyes are really very small.
small. Absolutely, yeah. and they're on the front part of their head. And uh, what's really neat about the epaulette, you see that they don't swim around like open swimmers that normal sharks would. They use their pectoral fins right here that I'm touching, okay. and their pelvic fins back here to actually walk along the bottom of the ocean yeah. floor. Why does this one keep coming over here where <laughs> I am? They actually like the uh, color purple Sizing and you're wearing that on your tie. <laughs> oh, so see, the last person good. that got bit was wearing a purple tie. Right. Figured, Keep that in mind, Bill. Like Where would you find these, these sharks if, if they're not in a tank? These come from the Australia, New Zealand area. So these are what we call tide pool sharks, meaning they get caught out of water a lot because they're just uh, a little aggressive in what they eat and forget that the tide goes back out. And so what they have to do is literally walk on the sand with their pelvic and pectoral fins to get back to the water. Really cool. Only shark species that will do that. Pretty amazing. Dan, should people just uh, sort of keep an eye out for where you may be appearing and that sort of Absolutely. thing? Absolutely. We're down in Lexington all the time. One thing that I want to promote here is we have a big grant called our Community Outreach Scholarship Fund. And any school in uh, Kentucky, in the state of Kentucky, that has 75% free and reduced lunch, will bring our animals out to you for free. And then for those of you that don't have 75% free and reduced lunch, we're in Lexington all the time at libraries, schools. Feel free to go on our website, Wave foundation.org registrations there the application for the grant is there you can find out all the information we'd love to bring our shark tank Very this is good. the only one of its kind in the United States we'd love to bring it to your school oh, it's cool thank thanks you for coming great well thanks for having us and coming up next how you can hop into savings this Easter holiday we're talking with the frugal next on WKYT Hello everyone, Amber Canoy here from MomsEveryday.com. Civil with Roberts Health Food is with us today. We're talking about sleep. I know moms, we just don't get enough of it or we have a hard time just going to sleep. Yeah, a lot of people do have this problem and most of the time it's the quieting of the mind that's the problem. So with um, an amino acid theanine, a lot of people can use that for anxiety, stress and quieting the mind. You can also find it combined with melatonin, which helps with sleep too. Uh, there are also herbal blends that add valerian, hops, chamomile, and then there's children's formulations that add those too for your child that just can't fall asleep. So this will help them relax and fall asleep. And maybe there's even some teas if we're not, we don't like to particularly like to take pills. Right, there are er herbal tea formulas. The hot, warm, you know, blend at night seems to really help. I'm attorney Daryl Isaacs, The Hammer, and if you've been injured in a car wreck, call me now. The insurance company usually puts up a fight, but Daryl Isaacs will know how to handle your case. Car wreck? Think big. Call in The Hammer, attorney Daryl Isaacs. I was scared to go back to the dentist, because I hadn't been in for a while. But they cut me some slack when they saw all this plaque, and they didn't make fun of my smile. I don't have insurance, but they didn't mind, which I thought was a setup for robbing me blind but I financed my teeth, this toothpaste was free, and the numbing stuff really worked wonders on me. No insurance? With a free new patient exam and x-rays, plus extended financing available, dentistry's never been easier. Call 1-800-ASPEN-DENTAL. At Hairwin, we've been helping people for 125 years. If you've been injured in a life-changing accident, we can help. Contact us at HelpingKentucky.com. Hairwin. Visit HelpingKentucky.com. Hi, I'm Diana with Kevin's Carpets. We understand how hard it is to buy floors. That's why you need to come to the Flooring Experts and let Chad, Rebecca, and I help you with your flooring needs. Kevin's Carpets in Lexington and Georgetown. Why, you'd be crazy to buy flooring anyplace else. Honey, would some Captain D's make you feel better? Yeah. When you love seafood this much, back again. I hope it's just a clumsy phase. It's gotta be D's. Anything's worth it for our new homestyle flounder meal or double dozen shrimp. Also, try our grilled menu featuring new Tuscan tilapia. For full meals starting at just $4.99, it's gotta be D's. I'm attorney Daryl Isaac, the hammer. And for almost 23 years, I've been getting my clients all the money they deserve. I wanted someone who would pick up the phone when I called. With Daryl Isaac, that's exactly what I got. Someone working for me. Think big. Get the hammer. Attorney Daryl Isaacs. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 98.1 The Bull. 
Welcome back. Great to have you along on WKYT. Are you entertaining this Easter holiday weekend? If so, you can do that on a budget. Debbie Morris, the Frugal, is here with some holiday shopping tips. Welcome, Glad, and you have a big basket here. I have here. a Glad basket here. In. Yeah. You know, I, I wanted to say that. To be frugal, you have to have your use your imagination. I tell you that, guys, all that time. Um, and there's so many opportunities out there to get sales. Now, this basket here is over retail, over $100, mm -hmm. and I only paid $15 for it. Wow. wow. <laughs> now, I use my rewards card, like at Penny's. I had. I always stress, any time they ask you to sign up for rewards, sign them up. You, you want know, the rewards. You want the rewards. So J.C. Penny's, they gave me a $10 free. You buy ten dollars, you get ten dollars off. So I went there and I bought seventy dollars worth of jewelry, and it, I walked out paying two dollars for it. Two dollars. Oh it. man! I don't so, doubt it. You know, but, but all this requires some preparation. Doesn't well, it? it it does, and like I said, it you know you have to be organized. Yeah. Um, you, you know, you've you've got to have um, some organization. But today I, I stopped at Target. Mm -hmm. I used my phone. Target has Cartwheel on there, and I got thirty five percent off of candy right there. So I, I just it's Cartwheel. Car, it's called Cartwheel, okay. and it's an app. That you put on your phone, and you just scan your phone, the, you know, the UPC on their phone, and uh, it 35% came off Easter candy. That's all you had to do. And when I was in there, there's a big sign that says text candy to Target, and they gave me another dollar coupon. And then with my paper coupon, it came off on top of it. And I said, in this basket here, I returned my uh, cartridges at Staples, you know, my empty cartridges, and they give you rewards. So I had a $5 reward. And so I went there, so I got the basket free. You can always find so a way. So there. And 99 cent eggs. This is what you want to be buying your eggs now. <laughs> 99 cent eggs at Walgreens Whether and Target. Or dying, and so, right? yeah. So, you know, the candy is hard for me, but eggs I enjoy. Deb, here's oh, a yeah. tip for you. Thank you. I bet Easter eggs will be on sale Monday. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you very much. We appreciate Happy you coming Easter. in. Let's check in with Micah before we go. And the rest of the afternoon, we're just by mid 60s. Then we hit the overnight hours. Clouds will be on the increase, and the rain actually comes on in here tomorrow morning before noon. It's mainly in between that nine to about noon time. Uh, time frame, that's when the rain moves in, but the severe weather threat actually comes in a little bit after that. Chris Bailey will be in here at 4 p.m. to get you updated. Okay, that'll be something to watch, and we thank you for joining us for WKYT News at Noon. Your news is always on at WKYT.com. Have a great day.